Hi, welcome to another video for bfcoulomb.com. I'm Bruce Coulomb, and today I'd like to demonstrate my flux capacitor wired into the 88 mile per hour speedo. Uh, but first, let me go ahead and describe some of these other replicas we have surrounding the flux capacitor. Off to my left of the flux capacitor, I have the spectrum analyzer display with the red oxygen tank and silver box. To the bottom left of the flux capacitor, I have the rear bulkhead relay banks. To the bottom right, I have the electrical systems regulator. In the past, it was known as the fuel systems regulator, but we've recently changed that. And in the rear, we have the high voltage auxiliary power and I don't know if you can see it in the very back there is the drive circuit anyways the reason for this video today is that I wanted to demonstrate when you wire the 88 mile per hour speedo into the flux capacitor and you cause the speedo to display 88 it trips the flashing strobe light that I've placed inside the flux capacitor. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. Right now we have the 88 mile per hour showing zero. When you flip the switch to 88, the chasing circuit on the flux capacitor stops and the center strobe light starts to flash. And it will continue to flash for as long as that 88 is displayed on the speedo. Now as soon as you flip your switch and put the speedo back to zero, the flux resumes with the chasing circuit and the strobe light has discontinued. Again, 88, center strobe light flashes, zero, fluxing chaser circuit. That's pretty much it folks. Um, I hope that answers some of your questions that you customers have posed to me of what it actually looks like. It's very simple to wire. You can hook your speedo into any type of a single pull, single throw switch that has a 12 volt DC positive common. Uh, some folks have wired them to their drive circuit toggle switches. Others have connected it to the overhead console. But either way, once you apply 12 volt positive and you get that 88 to display, you will have a flashing strobe on the flux capacitor. And then back to zero, gives you a fluxing flux capacitor. That's it. I want to thank you for looking in. And don't forget to visit my website, bfcoulomb.com. We have all these replicas plus many more. Uh, we also have some lost in the space B9 robot replicas and soon to come is some Star Trek memorabilia. Alright, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.